this is Animals the Game Boy game yet again. This is part two of this little series, and what you're witnessing now is me entering the password, which I had to play the game again to get. This is a problem. This is so time consuming, and the amount of times I actually have to do this, it probably takes about 10 minutes of my time. I have to record it onto Notepad, flick between screens, and just constantly... But why is this a thing? What? What? What's the need? Why can't there just be a save function? Why do I have to have these stupid passwords? Is it like they they, th they think someone's going to grab your Game Boy and play the game slightly further than you, so you don't get the full hundred percent experience? I don't get it. And you can see I'm still typing out this password. Hopefully soon. I'll get it. We're already, what, we've already spent a minute typing this in. I promise you, I will get to some gameplay in a minute, but this is taking time. And because I lost time, you lose time. Those are the rules. But not only do you get, le you get capital and lowercase letters, you get numbers, you get symbols. Why does this have to be so complicated? It's not even a good game, it's not worth it. It's just not. Oh come on past me, get this done quickly. Right, you're gonna we're we're gonna be where we're we gonna be. Right, come on, get this symbol sorted. I wanna see where we are, because it's been about a week since I actually recorded this and I'm doing this voiceover. Right, I think that's it. I think it's a W. There we go, right, we're outside of the uh, the mall. This is pretty much where we finished last time, where we got ambushed by a hawk bajir that's just walloping around town. I don't know why I use the word walloping. Right, because we had to start again, I've only got a dog and a snake. So, I know to use the snake to get through all, and I'm going to get attacked in three. Oh. I didn't even need two and one. I just got attacked. Poor Pajar hanging around in public, so let's defeat it. With an animal about a twentieth of its size. Probably even less, I don't know what it's... It doesn't even give a snake species, so we're just going to assume it's... It's hard to tell from the graphics because they're pretty awful. But believe me, that's not the worst set of graphics in this game. I'm sure we'll come across some more soon. So we use the dog and voila. I got more food. Because Animorphs, the books weren't dark enough. So, now we're in the gardens. Wonderful show. I wonder if we'll find any yurks in here. Hmm, let's have a think, shall we? Any Hopper Jib? No, no, maybe. Let's go check over here. Oh, all seems clear at the moment, so let's just have a bit of a wander around. There's nothing. Oh, bollocks! Why are they here? This isn't canon. I find a lot of different animals in this place. There are lions without doors. There's a man amongst all the lions who seems calm as a cucumber. And then there's just an open door to a bat. Makes perfect sense. Hey, right, I thought, why not get the bat? Why not? And I get the bat. Easy peasy. One other thing I find out is the bats aren't very good as battle animals. Now that becomes key later on. So let's try the lion. Those graphics are alright. You can sort of tell it's a lion. I'm sure there can't be anything worse. Right, come on, Cassie. Do your job. Let's see. Oh, wait, it's got 210 HP. Oh, wait, I'm fighting a lion with a dog. This was a mistake. So let's try a bat. That can be much better. Uh, fly, claw, scream, and dodge. Great set of moves. So I tried dodging just to see if I can trick the game into making me invincible, and that didn't work. Bye bye. Right, so I had to restart the game again. And in I came. Thankfully, the game does. If you don't actually turn off the thing or quit the quit the screen, you can just jump it straight back in. Right, at this stage I'm told to find a pole, where I was earlier, and for the love of God I could not find it. And this part of the map is huge. Oh look, I get caught a battle again. Brilliant. Right, so I deal with that, and then I find, what the hell is that? Baboon. It took me a good five minutes to realise what the pixels are actually trying to represent there. It just looks like a hippo with a tumour. 
So I've got the baboon. Wonderful stuff. So let's just get out of here. Oh, thank God we managed to get out. And I thought I'd take this opportunity to add a bit of pace and... Oh, for God's sake! Why? Superfood? I don't understand... Oh, fucking hell! Jesus! Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. Why is the kangaroo blue? They're doing something wrong with the food for these animals. The gardens has really gone down in my estimations. It's, it's filled with aliens and the kangaroos are blue. There are hippos. Is that a hippo? Vaguely. Vaguely. I'll let that one off. It looks like it's got horns, but we'll just let, let it off. So, surprisingly, the dog actually managed to beat the hippo, one of the most dangerous animals in Africa. Who would have thought it? And I find one of these things. And nothing happens. Now, there are a total of four of these things. I didn't realise I had to get a pole first. I know it was instructed to me, but I couldn't see anything, and they looked the closest thing to Boz. And then I found it. Bearing in mind that I've cut about ten minutes of video out of this. I spent about ten minutes looking, and... Oh, look, there's a wolf. Well... It wouldn't really be a Cassie thing if I didn't have a wolf morph. So there we go, we acquired it. And we get this weird green pole. So now I'm going to take it to these transponders. Trans the, 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 and then I'll find this bit here. Now one thing I will say about this game. There is a lot of the map that is just completely useless. There was nothing there. Absolutely nothing. And this was on my way to looking around some more places. Absolutely nothing there. About five to ten minutes I wasted. And then I got told I had less than one hour more. He's not being very helpful, this guy. Finally, we get to the transmographicatonders. I forget what they're called. Anyway. It was transbox something or other. The text goes by so fast. And I decided... Happy. Tobias tells me that he hears help calls. Looks like someone's in danger. And I think... Who could possibly be in danger? Was it perhaps the guy who was standing in the middle of the lion's den? Just... There. And what do you know? John Schnur. He wouldn't talk to my dog. So I've got a demorph. And I made the silly mistake of demorphing in front of him. Ugh. I hate this game. We try again. And there's a line blocking the frickin' way. Thankfully, he's able to shout at me and not attract the attention of the lion, who's about three feet in front of him. He tells me about a secret lab. And then Tobias helpfully instructs me that bats can see in the dark. So off I go to get a bat, and then I find the secret lab out in the open. And think I need to morph bat, I morph bat. And then I get the greatest surprise of all. The X new secret plan! Caged skunks and monkeys with Hawk Bajir. That looked nothing like Hawk Bajir. What is this? So I defeat these hawk bajir and apparently eat them. And free the animals? What's wrong? I don't get this. And then I accidentally leave. And they're back! Why? And then I realise I don't have to do it at all. I could just go into the back room. So I morph back and just go. And then we get this thing, which to be honest is probably the best made part of the game. Jen, it is probably the best part of the game. It's the most competent part. And even then, it's not very competent. So I failed on this a few times. You'll probably see. But it just makes you wonder, what was the point of that last room? Firstly, why are Hawk Bajir guarding skunks and monkeys? Why are they wasting their resources like that? Why am I eating them? What is wrong with this game? 
I don't even know what these red things are, but I get killed by them several times. I think it's the one just coming up now. Just coming up now. Oh, I don't know. I've been so long since I played this game, but... I don't understand how this room is so long, why there are ha wires hanging from the ceiling. Oh yeah, that's the one that killed me. I didn't even touch the thing. Thankfully, I don't have to start too far back, and I can just whiz my way through with my batty goodness. And what I find is a door. And what do I find on the other side of that door? Let's find out. An evil scientist! Not a controller, or a hu or a hu just a random human, an evil scientist. And he's talking about using animals to attack humans, which... I didn't think was the Yerk's tactic, but either way he had a taxon. And you know what? This was impossible. This was absolutely impossible. No matter what I... and, and you got to realise as well, you come out of that dark room as Bat, and you've got no opportunity to switch morphs. So you start as Bat, which is completely useless. So it gives the taxon all the time in the world to make itself invincible, and then it's just it's just game over. My kangaroo did nothing. My hippo wanted to scream at it and did nothing. And by the end of all this malarkey, I just got frustrated. I wanted to punch something. This game is... Have you ever played the game Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy? It's like that. But with Bennett Foddy, you know deep down inside that if you dedicate time to it, you can do it. You can complete this. But this game... I just don't get that. I just feel like it's an eternity of hell on Earth. There is no way to beat it and it will just surround your dreams in a coat of nightmares. So I died a lot more. For about the fifth time. This evil scientist, apparently, kept setting this taxon on me and killing me. And this is the point where I decided, game over indeed. It is game over. Because I accidentally started a new game, which meant I had to go through all the starting scene again, and I'd have to find the password again. This has been the Animals YouTube channel, commenting on this bollocks. I'll, I'll play some more soon, see you later.